There's something strange about this water fountain. Or the waterfall, whatever. There's something strange about it. Like, if you guys know what I mean. Yeah, there's something strange in it. And... There has to be something in there. Which, we're gonna probably find out, like... Maybe, um, in the future or something? I don't know. Oh, hey, Fireman. Enjoying your bonfire again? Alright, where the hell did Cutman go? I just noticed Cutman was missing. What the hell? Ugh. Oh. 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 I know why. Anyway, hello everyone. I am Dragon Slayers, and welcome back to another Mega Man 8 Bit Deathmatch video. Yes, so I completed chapter. So in the last video, I we completed chapter 9. And now, I didn't mention when I played chapter 9, but what's interesting with um, version 4, which. which chapter 9, chapter 10 was released. Chapter... No, so basically chapter 9 and chapter 10 was released uh, with in May 8 bit Deathmatch version 4. Now what's interesting with chapter 9 and 10 is that you it's, it's a team team deathmatch. So that is very interesting. So of course um, if he's, that was, um, the Genesis unit. Yep. Now, um, let's go, so... Anyways, we already finished Chapter 9, Mega Man Base. Now we're going to Mega Man the Wally Wars. Mega Man 8 Fifth Deathmatch, version 4, Chapter 10, The Wally Wars. And it's 2014 too. So yeah, this is the Wally War. Buster Rod G. And yes, the Genesis unit, um the Genesis unit, um, their design is based on the um I think the Chinese Chinese novel Journey to the West. Which they made a show out of it. Which I really like. Yeah, so like, um, I know Buster Rod G and Hyperstorm H are based on the, um, two characters from Fairy to the West. Like, how do I know that stuff? I watched it, I watched, like, the live action version on TV before. And I watched it with my, um, it was, it was a young dragon player, right? It was, it was me, young dragon player, um, Watching TV with my parents, and yeah, those, I don't like the show. I don't like, I like the show. And then they made an animated series too. So yeah, anyway, um... Oh, we're tired already? Damn. So, anyway... Let's talk about the Wily Force. Now, the Wily Force is the, um... It's a game that, um, was originally, um, supposed to be in Japan with the Mega, with the Sega, with the Sega Genesis or something. Yeah, so, the thing with Mega Man Body War, the fist. Oh, fuck. So, So the thing with um the Wally Wars, the physical um version of the game um only released in Japan and um Japan and um Europe. But we didn't so we didn't get the uh, American version of the Wally Wars. So instead like um there's this thing 
called the Sega Store Network or whatever thing he is. It's where you can download games and all that stuff. So, whenever we have the Sega Genesis in America, we have to download it from like the Sega Network or something like that. I don't know what it's called. So, you have to, da so, um, you have to download it and yeah. Mega Man Wally Wars in America, if you something like that, I don't know. So yeah, anyways, about Wally Wars. So I don't know if I can spoil it or not. So basically the Wily Wars, the um the plot of the Wally Wars is that um The plot of Wally Wars is that Dr. Wily, after his defeat, he travels back in time and trying to fix his mistakes, but instead he doesn't. So that's why, that's why in like the Wally Wars, you um you play through Mega Man One through Three again, and then afterwards you um and then Dr. Wily builds um three new robots. No one has to sit. No one has to Genesis you did. And you're supposed to defeat them and stop Dr. Wily. And then, yeah. It's that simple. And yes, of course, by the name of, of Genesis Unit, of course, it's, it's a reference to Sega Genesis. So yeah. But yeah, with uh Mega Man with Mega Man the Wild War, like especially like the, the um the Mega Man game from the NES, which requires you passwords, including Mega Man 7. But that's way before Mega Man 7. Um That's before Mega Man 7. So so, I've been like, you remember when you play like Mega Man 1 and 2? Well, Mega Man 1 was like, you don't have to talk to So, you remember you, when you play Mega Man 2 and um, Mega Man 3? Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3? Yeah, and, and originally on the NES version of them, they require you passwords in order to like, So basically with the Mega Man game, they require you passwords so you can like continue where you left off. But with the Wally Wars, after you be a robot master, you can you have a choice to save your um progress in separate save files. So like for example, like you're done with so, yeah. But yeah, save files are like... I like save files, so it's much easier. You don't need to memorize your password. You don't need to wait for me to write them down. And stuff like that, yeah. But right, as of... With the Mega Legacy Collection 1 and 2, you don't actually need a password. Instead, you can save. You can save, um, the game. Save where you left off. Yeah, I'm good. So, yeah, anyway, that is about the Wily Wars. And, yeah, I hope I explained it fine. Because not, because the first, the first of the first is normally, um, was released only for Japan and um, was originally no yeah Wild Wars the physical version the cartridge 
that's why I call it physical purging, so, you know, the cartridge is a physical purging. So, yeah, I was going to use the hand nail and the hero. Cut man, help me! Yes! Thank you, Cut man! Okay, air man. Then, then. Oh, I couldn't tell you, Brian. Here comes the Genesis unit! So, let me explain. So, the, with the Wily Ward, how do you beat, how do you beat the first three Melee games? Um, you get, you get a new, you unlock a new mode called, called the Melee the Wily. The Wily Tower. So, Basically, with, with, um, the Wily, Mega Man, the Wily Tower, is that you have to fight the Genesis units again. You have to fight the Genesis units, but with that, you can combine the weapons from Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, all the items, all the weapons, you can, you can choose which items you want and weapons you want. Yeah. Hey, you got some never follow me around. This is Monster Rod G. And yes, he is based off on Yes, and Monster Rod G, he is based off of um Gun Kong. So yeah, this is Buster Rod G. So anyway, sometimes he would deflect your shot with his rod, and he would try to hit you with his rod too. Like that. Right. And yes, he does have his, um, his, uh, what do you call it, his clone attack too. So yeah, he, so like, if you have enough practice, you can defeat him easily, oh shit. Yeah, you just want to be careful when bus rod, extend the rod, and try to get at you. Oh shit. As you can see, I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Like, eight health left. Yes, and he was 
second shot. Make sure not to get hit by all shots too. But if you do, 
mage to fight him, you can actually, like, keep shooting at him. Frick off, Buster on me. Oh, that was like, one off. Get at it. Oh, what? Buster Rod G. And also, Buster Rod G is also the leader of the Genesis. Or is it Mega Water S? I don't know. No, I think, I think most of the time he's care of the, um, the Genesis. Not too sure. Oh, shit. Now he's just... He just jumped like three times. Trigger 
Only God is powerful. And it ain't that. It, but if it, if it's on point, then it's powerful. Oh! So yeah, and then later he will be pushing. Oh shit, he can deal with these silly, silly fishes. I think I'll take search me. And then, afterwards, yeah, see, he's gonna keep, he's gonna throw, um, keep shooting hard moves at you. So, you need to head back up here. Oh, crap. I meant to go back up there. And yeah, you need to watch out. Go better watch out. And I fell. And yes, be careful.
You guys really enjoy it.
Wily Tower.
I can't even do my Wiley voice. After all that yesterday? Oh. We are here. You are crushing. You are crushing. Okay, okay. Now I'm worried about this boss. Now this boss is like the most difficult boss. Well, before version 5. Well, hopefully it's easy. Ah, quick. Stop me while you stop. So yeah, anyway, um... Oh. So anyway, to get to see it, have a... Have a, um, attack. And 
what happens is you can actually can rebuild your own energy as well as your health. And you do that. And um, you want to keep an eye out for bigger water S and Buster Rod G. This type of storm is no problem. It's just be jumping. Now, a transformation, Beta. Oh god, this... 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 So, for this, you wanna walk backwards and try to, like... Run away from Mega Water S. Cause, Mega Water S is gonna chase you around... And, um... Uh, But yeah, Mega Water S is gonna keep you around while you get this water shield. So yeah, anyway, um, this is the Delta attack. Because you don't want to stand in one... Because you don't want to stand in um, just, just, just one hand. Because, of course, I heard what's the Lord is going to do his, um... His Shadow No Jitsu. And then, um, Hyperstorm Age of Jesus back to you. Like, they have a lot of resets, I can't even explain that all of them are so fast. So yeah, anyway, this is the Alpha attack, which... Which, um, this is the Alpha attack, so Buster Watch is going to stand here. Just this is rod to um push Hyperstorm H while Mega Water S is um is standing is standing on a top of Hyperstorm H. Yeah, it's gonna die. So Hyper Strong H is going to spin Buster Rod G, and he has to jump over his rod, but you have to keep an eye out for uh, Mega Water S2, because he has Water Shield, and you don't want him to catch up with you. Yeah. This is very tricky. But they share the same health bar though. You don't need to worry about like, um... Oh, 
want to stay as far as we can away from the Hunter Run G and, hi and make a water S. Or you can just look forward. Genesis unit and um chapter ten. But wait, what's this? A score ball. Ha 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 ha! Now I got you. Oh, Doctor Wiley. And that's the end of version 4. Now, we got one more chapter before version 6 releases tomorrow. And that is chapter 11. And yes, I will, yes, I will be recording chapter 11 later today. Let's end this. And like, tomorrow, I will be recording chapter version 6. And... After we're done with those two chapters. So yeah, tomorrow, chapter, no, I mean, version 6. I'll be recording those two chapters, and then, um, I'm probably gonna do some extras. So yeah, there's extras, so... Even, even if I completed, like, the story... Even I completed the story mode for the game, I'm not done yet, because there are some extras I want to show off, so yeah. Anyways, this is the end of chapter 10. What does, um, go back to the lab? New mail has arrived. Oh. Auto. Greetings! Welcome to Light Labs! Unfortunately, Dr. Light can't see you right now. He is currently away on a business trip. A sneak peek to Chapter 11? A business trip to a jail cell! Oh no! Dr. Light's other robots have left their station and gone berserk since the expiration date law hit. But I don't know them! This isn't something they would do. Mega Man and Roll are in the city trying to get Dr. Light out of this mess. It's not looking good, not while the light robots are still out 
causing havoc. I know you already done so much, but you gotta help us stop the light and innocence. If you can stop the other light number and be defective, I can repair them and see what went wrong. That should be enough to see Dr. Light's name. Well, expiration law date. Other light numbers. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's because... Well, that's because... Chapter 11, with Mega Man 9. Yeah! So, after this chapter, we are done with version 5. And tomorrow, we get our version 6. So, yeah. Version 6 is tomorrow. I can't wait, so I'm gonna record first chapter 11. Um, later today. So, yeah, anyways, uh, prepare for chapter for version 6 hype. Less than 24 hours. Let's go! So anyways, thank, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Please if you like and enjoy. Don't forget to keep rating.